Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how to develop an agent for Genius Web Platform. Before moving on to the implementation part, let's briefly talk about the negotiation components. Domain consists of issues and their values which are used in a negotiation session. One of the defined domains in Genius Web Platform is Laptop Domain. Laptop Domain contains three issues, which are Brand, Hard Disk and External Monitor. For the Brand issue, there are three possible values which are Dell, Macintosh and HP. And also different possible values are defined for other issues. You can see the JSON format of the domain which is defined on Genius Web Platform. You see the name of the domain, the issues and their values. Another component is bits. We offer bits in each round of the negotiation session and the bits consist of values selected for each issue. For example, let's assume that the negotiation session is based on laptop domain and when we offer a bit, we select a value for each issue. For example, when we offer bit 1, we select Dell value for brand issue, then we select 128GB for hard disk issue, and we select 55 inch for external monitor issue. As you see for the laptop domain, we have 27 possible bits that can be created from the domain. In ANAC 2021, the negotiation type is selected as bilateral, which means there will be two parties of agents that will be negotiated with each other. Another component is profile. A profile defines the preference of agent. In ANAC 2021, the profile type is selected as utility space, which defines the utility values of an agent for each possible bit. For example, let's consider the agent 1. The profile 1 is assigned to agent 1, and according to profile 1, the agent has a utility value 0.97 for the first bit, and the other utility values are defined for each possible bit. The utility values are defined between 0 and 1. Utility value of 1 represents the most preferred bit, while the utility value of 0 represents the least preferred bit. And as you see, there is another profile that is assigned to agent 2. And for the same bits, utility value of profile 1 and utility value of profile 2 are different. In ANAC 2021, the SAOP protocol will be used, which allows the agent to evaluate only the most recent bit in their turn. Now let's simulate a negotiation session. In a session, two different profiles are assigned to two different agents. In the perspective of agent 1, the preference of agent 2 is not visible. And also agent 2 does not know the preference of agent 1. And as you see, the negotiation session takes four rounds. In round 1, agent 1 selects a bit and offers. As you see, the utility of offered bit is different for both agents. While the utility is 0.97 for agent 1, for agent 2 it is 0.92. After agent 1 offered a bit, agent 2 can accept this bit or it can make a counteroffer. She may think that it is too early to decide if the bit is acceptable or not. So let's assume that she does not accept the bit and makes a counteroffer. In this time, agent 1 can accept the bit or can make a counteroffer. And as I said before, he does not know the utility of agent 2, he only knows his utility. And let's assume that he decided to make a counteroffer instead of accepting the bit. Now let's remember the definition of SAW protocol. In this case, agent 2 cannot accept the bit offered in round 1. She can only accept the bit offered in this round. So let's assume that she accepts this bit. After she accepts the offer, they earn points equal to their utility values. In this case, we can say that agent 1 won this session, since his utility value is greater than the utility value of agent 2. Before moving on to the implementation of an agent, I want to briefly talk about BOA architecture. In BOA architecture, there are three components. Bidding strategy, opponent model, and acceptance strategy. When we develop our agent, we will develop three strategies for these components. And you see the negotiation flow of BOA architecture. In a round, we receive a bit, then we evaluate the bit according to our strategies, and we either accept the offered bit or we make a counteroffer. And these strategies are based on the bidding history, the domain, and our utility space. In ANAC 2021, the agents are also allowed to learn the opponent's behavior during the tournament. In a negotiation session, we can learn the behavior of an agent. 
let's say its ID is 3 and if we negotiate with that party in another session we can use its behavior in the past negotiations when we make a decision in that session I will not talk about the implementation of learning part in this video if you want to learn how to implement it you can check the GitHub repository that I have given in this slide now we can move on to the implementation of an agent before implementing our agent, we first import the necessary components from the Genius Web Library. Then we create class of our agent, which extends the default party class from the Genius Web Library. And then we define our variables. Party ID is the ID of our agent, which is assigned by the platform. Domain keeps the domain of the current session. And all bits list is the list of possible bits generated by the current domain. Profile interface provides our profile and our profile is kept in the profile variable. Bits utility map keeps the utility value of all possible bits according to our profile. The current time in the negotiation is obtained by the progress variable and we append the received bits to received offers list in order to use them in the open modeling. And we define acceptable utility value that we decide if we accept the bits according to this value. If the utility value of bit is higher than this value, then the bit is called acceptable. Genius Web sends the state of the session to the notify change function. At the beginning of the session, it sends the setting of session and we initialize our agent. When the action done, we get the action and the action is offered, which means the opponent is offered a bit. Then we assign the offered bit to our variable. If it is our turn, we advance the progress to update the time and then we call my turn function. If the negotiation is finished, we output the outcome. The capability of our agent sent to the system by this function, our agent compatible with the SAOP, which is the stacked alternating offer protocol that I have mentioned in the slides. And our agent can learn the behavior of opponents that I have described, which is the challenge of ANAC 2021. I'm not going to implement this part. You can see the implementation of learning from the given repository. And get description function returns the summary of our agent to the system. At the beginning of the session, the init function is called. In this function, we get the profile interface from the settings. And then we get our ID, the progress that I mentioned. And then we get our profile from the profile interface. From the given profile, we obtain the domain of the current session. And we can get the list of all possible bits that can be generated from the domain. Then we map the utility values of the bits by getting the utility value of each bit from the given profile. Then we sort the bits according to their utility values. The sorting operation is done in this function. It returns a linked hash map which is sorted. And each round, the myTurn function is called. In this function, we first look that it is our turn and then we get the time from the progress object and we calculate the acceptable utility value by this formula which means at the beginning of the negotiation session, the time will be 0 and then the acceptable utility value will be 1. As the time passes, the time will converge to 1 and at the end, this equation will be equal to 0 0.7. Our agent will make decisions according to this variable. Then we log the time and acceptable utility values to see the progress from the logs. If last received bit is null, which means we are in the first round and we are starting the negotiation. So we have not received a bit yet and we cannot add it to our received offer history. If it is not equal to null, then we add the last received bit to our history and then we'll again log it to see the progress. After assigning the necessary values, now we need to select an action. Our action is set to null at the beginning. Then we send the last received bit to the isAcceptable function. It will return if it is acceptable or not according to our implementation. If the bit is acceptable, then we accept the offer. If it is not acceptable, then we make an offer. And according to assigned action object, we send our action to the platform. In isAcceptable function, I have implemented a basic strategy. If the bit is null, 
we return false because it is the first round and we have not received a bit yet which means we will make an offer in this round if it is not the first round then we return true if the utility of the received bit is greater than the acceptable utility value it is not then it returns false and when we make an offer we get the list of all possible issues from the domain and from the all bit list we check each bit if it has utility value greater than the acceptable value if it is then we add that bit to acceptable bit list if there is no acceptable bit list we get the key set of the sorted bit utility map according to this map the last bit is the most preferred bit so we add the most preferred bit to our acceptable bit list so that our acceptable bit list is not empty then we shuffle the bit list in order not to select the same bit in each round and then we select the first bit from the shuffled bits if it is the first round which means we have not received an offer yet we directly offer the selected bit if it is not the first round then we create a hash map to keep the issues and the values of the selected bit and for each issue we get the value of that issue from the selected bit and then we assign it to our hash map then we select the random bit from the history of offered bits and we select the random issue to change the value of that issue of the selected bit and from the selected offered bit we get the value of that issue and we assign that value to the created bit and we create a new bit object from the created bit hash map and assign it as an offered bit after selecting offered bit we lock the bit that we offer and then we return the action of offer this is how our agent is implemented in the Genius Web platform. I have mostly explained the offering strategy and the acceptance strategy. For modeling the open better, you can use the offered bit history that we kept and you can make a decision according to that strategy. In this video, I have talked about the negotiation components and how to implement a basic agent for Genius Web platform. Thanks for watching and good luck in the competition.